I'm going to show you two different methods that I like to use to create multi-feathered beams in Finale version 25. This is the end goal here. The first method I'm going to show you is off-centered, which is what this is. It, you can see that this node isn't quite in the middle. And the second method will be centered if you like the look of that better. So let's start from scratch. Enter 17 32nd notes beamed as 8 plus 1 plus 8. Use slash to break that beam and join that one. And now switch to the secondary beam angle tool to feather the beams as you would normally. And try to make sure that you're at the same height as the beams on the other side so that when you do join them, they actually look connected. This tool is in special tools under advanced tools. So switch to the tuplet tool and you're going to create what's called a ziplet. This is one 30 second in the space of zero 30 seconds. I learned this technique from Peter Thompson at the finale forums. Change number and shape to nothing. Hit OK. This note now takes up no rhythmic value. It is on top of this second group of 30 seconds. So just join it with slash to the first group and you're almost done. But don't celebrate just yet and leave this measure. If you do, this is what happens and it looks terrible. So undo until we get back to this step where you have to join the ziplet to the first group. Let's try again. Okay, what happened this time? So this time my cursor was on a 32nd note, not on a ziplet. So just make sure you're selecting the right note by moving your cursor around until it doesn't move left when it should. So I'm going to take this beam apart that I accidentally joined, move to the ziplet, join it to the first group. Now replace these rests with a half rest because the ziplet takes up no time. You can do that. Now you're done. So this measure you can enter and exit just fine and Finale will not complain or mess up your beautiful multi-feathered beam. And you can also change these afterwards if you want, but uh, honestly, it's easier to adjust it right the first time. Now let's do the second method. This is gonna be symmetrical. So this time enter 16 30 seconds instead of 17 and you're going to beam it as 7 plus 1 plus 8. And why not? We can break them right now. Feather them like before. This part is the same. You can try this with other note values, 16ths, 64ths. You can try it with more notes that I'm using instead of 16 or 17. See what works, just experiment. Change to the tuplet tool and you're gonna make another ziplet. This time it gets grouped to the first group of 30 second notes. So we're gonna break this beam. Make sure you're selecting the tuplet and not a 30 second. And now join the second group to the tuplet. This time before you exit, you need to add a 30 second note rest. And you can hide it for looks with H and you're done. So let's say you wanna copy this. You need to use stack selection. I'm in a one staff document, so this is automatically gonna be stack selection. But if you're in a multi-staff document, use the staff tool, select your staff. And in Windows, you hold control, hit the view menu, and you can program a staff set of just that staff. And then you can make a stack selection and then go and paste it elsewhere in your document to get back to the rest of your document, view, select staff set, all staves without holding control. That's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and maybe you'll see more helpful stuff. Check my about page on my channel and you'll see other programs that I use. If you want to know how to do something in those programs and you can't seem to figure it out, 
or you just like video format, then just let me know. Ask in the comments or on the community page, and maybe I'll be able to make a video for you. Until next time, I'm Acap. Stay tuned.